<laughs> fighting. It's like eating, sleeping, breathing. We all do it, just in our own way. Some say that the success of a relationship hinges on how we resolve conflict. Like it or not, how we fight matters. What are you doing? I'm gonna lick your eyeball. Oh no, God, no, not the eyeball. Oh God. You're dead! Ah, what? Don't, Ethan, don't! Do not, do not kick me! Don't, no! Don't! Get a condom. What? We, we used that last one this morning. What? Yeah. No! It's almost no. midnight. I have to get up really early. Sorry. You always have to get up early. Oh, wait. Wait, don't move. I got you something. Really? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> well, you know how you always have to rush home to shower and shave? Now you don't have to. Hey. Isn't it cute? Thanks. Wow. And I was thinking that you should keep some clothes here. I have room in the closet. I mean, it, it definitely doesn't look like it, but... Sounds like I'm moving in. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it doesn't actually make sense for you to be paying rent next door. Not when you're spending every night here. What's wrong? Is the toothbrush too small? No, no, it's great, thanks. It's just, um, you're right, it doesn't make sense that I never sleep at home. Maybe I should sometime. <laughs> Are you serious? Hey, it's not that I don't like sleeping here. I, I... Oh, look, hey, you don't, you don't have to explain yourself to me. I'm, I'm not gonna stop you from sleeping at your place. If you want to, you should. Tonight, even. Erica. What? Why are you making this such a big thing? I'm sorry. I'm not. I... Really, Ethan, I'm just... I'm just tired and being dumb. It's totally fine. We're good? Yeah. Totally. Okay, good. I'm gonna jump in the shower. Conflict and relationships. They go hand in hand. Too bad, then, that most of us will do almost anything to avoid confrontation. It's clearer inside of me who I will always be. Open me up to my heart. Feels like I'm seeing. this morning oh I had to go to the bank and now I'm running late can I call you later sure you know that it's Sam's birthday party tonight right oh, that's tonight you didn't make other plans well I was gonna see Michael for drinks it's it's fine I'll cancel what time do you want me to meet you there it's at your mom's right meet me there well I thought that never mind uh, seven o'clock great see you tonight <sighs> yep. bye Here, sir. Excuse me. Yeah, what can I get you? Uh, just um, it's just a latte, a small latte. Small latte. I, I don't think that we've officially met. I'm Erica. Oh, I am. Kai. Kai, that's a cool name. Thank you. 
You don't remember me, do you? I was I was the uh, vanilla syrup girl. I ordered the latte, and then you went to the supply closet to get the syrup, and you... I, I'm just wondering what you were doing in there. I mean, I'm not wondering. I think that I know what you were doing, because I do it, too. Here's your latte. Pay the cash. Kai, have you ever been in therapy? Hey, want to top up? Um, sorry. Excuse me. Yes, how much is the coffee? Uh, two fifty. Hey. Poor Brent. No kidding. He is in a serious funk. 20 bucks says he either quits or gets fired. No, don't say that. He just he just needs a little time. Mm. You really wanted this book. Brent, in my office, please. Oh, speaking of, Julianne wanted me to set up a meeting with some high-profile writers. Drinks in the evenings, a little chit-chat. Tonight works. No, I can't do tonight. Can you make it tomorrow? Then you got plans with the BF? Actually, my mom, she's throwing this party for my sister. It's her 30th, mm -hmm. and Ethan's coming. <gasps> That's your date. Righteous. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the first big family thing that he's coming to. As my boyfriend. Cute. OK. What's the dealio? I'm sorry? Brent, we're adults here. I think we should be able to have a frank conversation about this. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Hello, the sex book. You're upset. I get it. I'm not upset. I'm fine. You are a good editor. But your last book was late. And frankly, kind of lackluster. You need to step up your game. You gotta, you gotta get back on top. Okay. Okay. That's it. I will do my best to step it up. I apologize for disappointing you. Fine. Go. Thank you. Nice to see you. What took you so long? Oh, uh, traffic was terrible. I'm sorry. I am so happy for you, honestly. When your mother told me, I thought, how perfect is that? Oh, thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Roberta, you better not be asking about marriage. Speaking of marriage, I'm planning a cruise to Alaska next summer, and I don't want to miss anything. I'll be sure to give you lots of advance notice. That's just great. Your parents better hope that egg comes out of Gucci, kids. Get used to it. Those are gonna be our little ones running around in a couple of years. If our kids act like that, they're gonna be kept on a leash. They're gonna be so cute with uh, blonde hair and green eyes. You know, I'm gonna take a couple of years off and mom will babysit whenever we need her to. We'll find a bigger house, a nice backyard. Okay? Yeah. Oh, thanks. It's a disaster. He doesn't want children, and she does. Divorce. Mm, that's terrible. Yeah, it's awful. That's why I think uh, you, you have to talk about these things before you get married. <coughs> Excuse me. Something went down the wrong way. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. He's so handsome. He's darling. I know. Ethan? Hey, where have you been? 
You went to the bathroom like a half an hour ago. Oh, I just needed some air. Everyone, I need your attention. We're going to take a picture of the family, so I need everyone to gather over here, please. So you just left without telling me? I didn't think I needed to let you know every time I leave the room. Ethan? Ethan, why don't you come around here, sweetheart? And Josh, you're next to Sam, who's in the middle. Good. Y you know what? You should be in the picture, Barb. I I'll take it. I, I, I don't mind. No, no, no. It's on a timer, honey. No, let him take it. I'm serious. If he doesn't want to be in the picture, maybe he needs some air. I didn't realize it had a timer. I was just trying to help out. Sorry. You think it's tough dating is strange? Try marrying one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> is everybody ready? Ready, Mom. Just take the picture. Ready. OK. One, two, three, cheese. Can I talk to you? That was good. What is your problem? I don't have a problem. Yes, you do. I don't see why you have to make a big deal out of everything. Oh, I am making a big deal. You, you sulk through every conversation, and then you go missing for half an hour, and now you're, you're bailing on a simple picture? I mean, honestly, Ethan, being my boyfriend is such a burden. You're being ridiculous. I am not. Be honest, do you even want to be in this relationship? Because you sure as hell aren't acting like it. Oh. That's great. <laughs> Help, would you please tell me why my boyfriend is being a passive, aggressive, insensitive, game-playing... Uh, the course of true love never did run smooth. William Shakespeare. What? Nothing. Just, it's good to be back here. Anyway. <sighs> Ethan. Well, every time he doesn't like something, he runs away. I mean, it's impossible to communicate when the other person is constantly... Well, is that what you were trying to do there? Communicate? Yes. Obviously. Hmm. Ah. Malcolm Abrams, Camp Wakini. Malcolm? Well, I haven't... I haven't seen that guy in years. Well, he was your best friend. Until he turned into Satan. Wow, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Malcolm and I, we met at Camp Wakini when we were kids. We'd, you know, spend hours talking, just sitting on the docks. Our senior year, it started off great. He'd smuggled some weed into camp, and I used to tease him about it because he was <laughs> so not the type. And we'd sneak off into the woods and get high and laugh until our stomachs hurt. And it didn't take long for our relationship to turn romantic. And that's when it all fell apart. How? I don't really know. I thought it was going really well, but then out of the blue, he dumped me. No explanation. And the next day, he hooked up with some 14-year-old. It's Rachel Zimmerman. And then overnight, he changed. He wouldn't even talk to me. So to get back at him, I kind of called him a cradle robber. <laughs> Creative. Yep. I was pretty pleased with myself until he framed me. He framed you? He planted his discman, his boxer shorts, a lock of his hair in my stuff, and then he told everyone that he'd been robbed and that it must be his stalkers. So when they searched my cabin, they found it all. I was sent home, and I was labeled a thief. And the next year, I wasn't asked back as staff. It still bothers me today how he could just turn on me like that, how overnight he could go from being my best friend to my worst enemy. And this time? I'd rather just ignore him. I provoked him with the flag and it got me kicked out. It wasn't worth it. <sighs> if I could rewrite my history, I would just enjoy the summer, hang out with my friends, pretend that Malcolm Abrams didn't exist. Waves of time that pass us by Leave the future open wide Certain memories we can't hide All the pieces to our souls oh. Erica, what the hell? Ah, uh, shoot. Ow! Oh. All oh, you suffer, details! All you suffer, all you suffer!
Seriously, I can't believe I wasted an hour of art period on that flag. Oh my god, Airband, I forgot about Airband. So what happened? Did you guys get caught? Nope. Split personality girl chickened out. No, I didn't chicken out. I just I just changed my mind. What? Why? Because getting into a public war with Malcolm Abrams, it's it's not a good idea. I'd rather just ignore him. You know what he's saying about you, right? I don't really care what he's saying about me. He's calling you crazy. He's telling everyone you're a stalker. That you started bawling when he dumped you? Ugh. That you threatened to kill yourself. What? Hey, I... I didn't say that. See, he's an asshole. An asshole who is ruining your reputation. He needs a taste of his own medicine. He dumped you for 14-year-old Rachel Zimmerman. She's a baby. Oh my god, we should so stuff his bed with diapers. <laughs> oh my god, hilarious! Yeah. No, we are ignoring Malcolm Abrams, okay? He is, he's not worth it. I don't care what he says or does. We do not retaliate. He's my ex. I get to decide. Fine. Fine. So who's ready to dance? Pump! Yo, yo, yo! Pump it, pump it! Waves of time. I am really. <laughs> Incoming. Wow, Rachel. She really is young, isn't she? All the poor things she's scared. I'd be too if I were her. Go make her cry. Yeah. What are you talking about, you guys? I'm gonna go talk to her. What? Why? I'm just gonna tell her that you know there's no hard feelings. Hey, Rachel. Hi. Hi. Look, I just, I just hey. wanted to say that. Rachel. Rachel. What did she say to you? Nothing. What did she say to you? She said hello. Malcolm, what is your damage? Dude, chill. You're acting psycho. She's trying to talk shit about me. Actually, I think you're the one doing all the shit talking. Jenny. Yeah. Please. Malcolm's an asshole. I can't believe you're letting him talk to you like that. Sorry, just uh, ask yourself, you know, what would the Buddha do? You're not funny. I'm not trying to be funny, guys. I'm just trying to avoid war. <laughs> okay, you guys, free swim is over. Air band starts in 15, all right? Come on, you guys, let's go, let's go. Hustle. Hey, what the hell was that? So Eric was talking to Rachel, so what? That girl is obsessed with me, she's crazy. Oh, Erica's obsessed with me, Erica's a stalker. Boo hoo hoo, it's all a bunch of bullshit. She didn't even look at you. Okay, you obviously have a thing for my sloppy seconds. And you obviously have a thing for dumb 14 year olds. Just shut up, okay man? You're a virgin and I have a girlfriend with no gag reflex. Look, I don't know what you're so afraid of, man. What do you think they're gonna do, compare notes? Talk about how small your dick is? Erica? What? Look, the summer is it, it's too short to be spending it fighting with you, so. A truce? Um. Yeah. I mean, okay, definitely. Cool. Cool. All right, up next, we've got the senior boys with MC Hammers. Can't touch this! I think we'll stick around for a show, right? I'm okay. <laughs> I just have to go check on something. I'll be right back, okay?
Hello there. Oh. Beautiful day for an air band. Oh, you don't look happy. He did it again, that little shit. He calls a truce and then he stabs me in the back. Strange. I wonder why he did that. Because he's crazy. <laughs> Jenny and sorry we're right. I've been doing this all wrong. It's like, it's like he's an animal. He, he senses my weakness and then just goes for the jugular. I need to fight back. You know, Martin Luther King said, returning violence with violence only multiplies violence. No, uh-uh. I am sorry, but there is a flaw in that theory. Well, Dr. King got it wrong, I guess. Well, please, enlighten me. The cycle of violence continues only until someone wins. Ah. I didn't get kicked out last time because I fought back. I got kicked out because I didn't go far enough. I lost. This time, I am going to win. I stay and he goes. All right, so the solution is winning, then? Yes. Yes, it is, because I've done everything else. So if there's another option, please feel free. But I don't, I don't see it. Malcolm will not stop until I am kicked out. <laughs> you can throw your riddles at me all you want. Honestly, I am getting to the point where I don't care. One of us has to go, and this time it's not going to be me. OK. He's going down. I am like a dancer. You guys, you haven't even seen me do. I get, I'm so who are you sharing a tent with? Uh, I don't know, probably Jenny. Cool, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sharing with Malcolm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, ever since you guys broke up, he's been kind of weird. Dude's always been a little bit paranoid, you know? Yeah, no kidding. Now he's paranoid and mean. I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> Yo, Bees, we gonna get going? You sit around drilling over my ex all day. <laughs> Girls, start packing up your canoes. Come on, guys. Malcolm, can I talk to you for a second? This morning, I received an anonymous note said that you've got drugs in your cabin. Is that true? No. I'm telling you, it's not true. If we find anything, you're on the first bus home. You got it? to do with Rachel. She looked like she was crying this morning. Yeah, her eyes look kind of puffy. Erica. Can I talk to you? Alone? Grab your pack. <sighs> nice try, but you think I'm stupid enough to keep drugs in my cabin? Fine. So what is this? Is it you just rubbing it in my face? Is that the whole point of this conversation? No, I just think we should agree to stay away from each other. Malcolm, you were the one to call the truce and broke it, so forget it. I don't trust anything you say. You've driven me to the point where I'm acting like oh. you. It's disgusting. Oh, that's funny. I'm the problem, and you're totally innocent. Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. Ugh. That's really great. What did I do to you? Nothing. You're perfect. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I can't believe I was ever friends with you. Oh, well, there's something we can at least agree on. Where is everybody? Little Joe. Little Joe is supposed to be smoke. We're at the wrong lake. Shit! <sighs> this is so retarded. Look, we just, we missed the sign, all right? We double back and we find the path. Don't be worried. <sighs> hey, I'm not worried. Big Joe Lake. What? Damn it. I can't carry this pack anymore. Oh. You know, if we if we just wait it out, they're gonna realize that we're lost and they'll they'll send a tripper to find us. You want? What are you doing? Well, it's getting dark out soon, and if they don't find us, we may have to spend the night. So I'm gonna set up the tent. Well, you're doing it wrong. Well, then help me. Just give me this, give me this. Can I do something? Just go look for firewood.
Wait a second, I'll come with you. No, it's okay. I got it. No, you shouldn't go by yourself. Just wait for me. Who are you afraid of? I'm gonna whack myself in the face with a branch? There are bears in the woods. Oh, and if we meet one, you're gonna what? Bite it off me? If I have to. Oh, that's noble. Especially considering you spent the last week trying to get rid of me. Yeah, get rid of you, not kill you. What was that? Very funny. It's a raccoon. No, that's, that's not a raccoon. That's bigger than a raccoon. Oh, my God. It's a bear. It's not a bear. <laughs> oh, my God. Run! Run! Always do this. You remember the bat? Yep, I broke the cabin door because of that bat. Yeah, the tree frog. You're running so fast, you tripped on a root. It was a very scary frog. It was a fast hopper, and it was chasing yeah. me. If I'd been there, I would have protected you. I know. You always did take me seriously. You know, even when I get all crazy. Malcolm, how do we go from spending every day together to hating each other? Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it really does. And right now I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, hey, there he is. There's the guy that used to be my best friend. I really miss that guy. <laughs> I just want to know why it all fell apart. Don't you think we should talk about it? Yeah, we could, except I'm so thirsty right now. <laughs> I can barely form sentences. Okay, well, why don't I get us some delicious algae-flavored lake water? Water, you will love this. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Don't talk, let's just start over. I wasn't ready, now I am. I wanna do this. Okay, but what about Rachel? I don't want Rachel, I want you. Uh, um, Malcolm. I'm not coming. Oh, I thought you wanted this. I know, I just, I want to talk. Forget talking. <laughs> Your hands are shaking. Get off of me! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. You're sorry? Uh, I don't, uh, I... <laughs> I can't. You can't, you, you can't, you can't what? One, one minute you're my friend and then you become this monster. I know. It's like, you, you know, you can't decide whether you like me or whether I repulse you. Do you have any idea what that's like? To feel like you're disgusting? God, that is why I tried to pretend like you didn't exist. That is why I tried to destroy you. Because I was, I was so, so hurt. Malcolm! It's not you. There's nothing wrong with you. It's me. I just... What? I'm gay. <laughs> oh. 
Would you tell anybody? I swear to God. No, I would. I would never. Uh... You must think I'm a freak. No, not at all. I just wish that you would have told me before, and then none of this would have happened. I and mean, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> why didn't I tell you? Why didn't I walk around naked? Why didn't I tell you the one thing you could use to wreck my whole life? It's a really stupid question. I... I'm sorry. I... <laughs> oh God. Just it all makes sense. Finally. Oh my God. Malcolm, I, I, I can only imagine how hard that was for you to tell me. But please trust me. I am the last person that would betray you or judge you. And, I mean, my uncle Ruby, he's gay. I kissed a girl once. I did. It was good, too. And you know who else is gay? Brandon, that guy from your cabin. Brandon is not gay. Maybe not now, but give him 10 years. I can't believe I'm talking to you about this. <laughs> hey, it's better than not talking about it. Believe me. You know, you should go for Brandon. Erica. What? He's totally hot. Sorry, is it too much? Yeah. <sighs> Look. Canoe. Hey! You guys! You guys! We're over here! You guys are retarded! Can't you read the signs? The whole camp's looking for you. Sorry, we just, uh... We got a little distracted. Are you guys back together? You could say that. Yeah, we're all good. Necessary. Beautiful night for a walk. I need to go talk to Ethan. Oh, talk to Ethan. Now, there's a novel idea. It's unbelievable. My friendship with Malcolm, it ended because we just, we never talked about what was going on. And the thing that kills me is that it's so simple. Why didn't I just ask Malcolm what was going on with him? Why did I let it escalate into this, this full-on war? Because? Do you know that talking as a means of resolving conflict actually goes against every biological instinct that we have? You know, we, we feel threatened and so we fight. Or if we don't have the stomach for that, we run. Like Ethan. Yeah, Ethan ran, Malcolm attacked. Well, different strokes. But Malcolm was different though, because he had a secret. Well, you think he's the only one? What does that mean? You know, Erica, sometimes we fight simply because we're unable to tell the other person how we really feel. Well, are you talking about me? Because I've, I've always been completely honest with Ethan. Mm -hmm. You're sure about that? Well, good. As long as you're sure. Good night. It's funny I'm not tired at all. Could be because I'm ovulating. <laughs> what is that supposed to turn me on? I'm just saying if you want. What I want is to uh, give you your your birthday present. Huh? What is this? <laughs> Oh my God, tickets to London? We're going to London? We are, we are. I got some news, I got some big news. They want to make me senior VP at the UK office. I'm sorry, you want to move there? Babe, this is a huge opportunity. I, I thought you'd be happy. I am. But uh, London's really far. I mean, what about the house and my job? We'll sell the house. He wanted a bigger one anyway. You'll get a staff job at some uh, 
London Hospital. It's a big promotion. It's, it's gigantic. London. Midnight oil. Whatever it takes to get things done. Well, keep it up at this pace, and who knows? Next bestseller might be yours. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Don't stay up too late. How are you? Bad? I'm worried. I'm upset. Just, I feel like, I, I don't know what you're thinking or where your head's at. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out myself. It feels like we keep having the same fight, but we don't talk about it. And I don't know what's going on. Okay. I, I feel trapped. Okay. I, I mean, the toiletry bag, all the talk of me sleeping over, your family, it's like all this pressure, all these expectations that I don't want, that I'm not ready for. You, you keep pushing me. Look, we've only been together for a few weeks and, and you're acting like... I'm ready to get married? Yeah. What's that about? Uh, I don't know. Hey. Well, that's not true. I do know. But I don't want to tell you. Okay. Why? Because. <sighs> wow, this is really hard. Uh, because I feel like if this doesn't work out, with you. I really am never gonna find anyone. Erica. And I've been waiting a really long time to be the right person and... Sometimes I'm worried that the reason it's taking me so long is because there's something wrong with me. Hey, hey, there is nothing wrong with you. I love you and I wanna be with you. I don't know if I want to marry you. It's too soon. Oh, it's okay. Keep going. Just... 
I, I just, I need to take things more slowly. Okay. I know, I mean, that, that makes sense. It's just, this whole thing is, it's irrational and stupid insecurity. And, and when you get freaked out, you clam up. And then I, I get paranoid and that makes me act even crazier. <sighs> wow. I get it now. <sighs> what? Why people don't talk to each other. This is really intense. Hey. Come here. Conflict. It's everywhere you look. It touches everything we do, every relationship we have. Isn't it funny how at their core, all fights are the same? Two people yelling or accusing or running away. Two people doing anything to avoid telling each other what they really feel. Just talk when you want to run. Reveal when you want to attack. It's so simple, so obvious. And at the same time, so incredibly hard. Good morning. Yeah. Okay. Kai? I'm gonna tell you something, and I know that it's gonna sound crazy. Just, I know, okay, I know what you're gonna tell me. You do? Ah. Some guy came up to me on the street one day, told me he could fix my life. All he needed was a commitment. I can't believe this. Does, does he send you back in time? Yeah. Oh my God, what, what, what are the chances? Because I saw you go through that door, and I knew that what I was seeing, it could only mean it's, that... What's your name? I'm sorry, remind me. Oh, it's, it's Erica. Erica? I'm just, I'm so happy to finally meet someone who's going through the same thing. You know, someone just to just talk about this all with another person that, that has been there. Uh, Erica, and... don't take this the wrong way, but that's not going to be me. What? I don't want to talk to you about time travel or therapy or any of it. I'm happy to chat about vanilla syrup or uh, TV shows or religion or politics, you name it. But I don't understand. I know, what? and you're not going to understand. But I wanted to stop you before you got too excited. See you uh, No. Kai. It's nothing personal. Really. 